Hello and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing Bath & Body Works' new Ballet Core Collection. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. The next group of Bath & Body Works scents that I have for review is the Ballet Core Collection, which came out a couple weeks ago before Thanksgiving. I tried to pick these up the day they launched, and my store didn't have them, but I was able to find them the next day at another store. And then I unfortunately started feeling unwell, so I'm sorry this review is a bit late. I just haven't felt up to filming much lately. I think this is supposed to be a holiday collection, and I guess it makes sense if you're thinking along the lines of a Nutcracker theme, but it doesn't feel very holiday-ish to me. I've already reviewed the other Bath & Body Works holiday collections that came out before this one, and I'll link those videos in the description box if you want to check them out. And if you want to see mini reviews or what's coming up on my channel, you can join me over on Instagram at Blue. There are two new and one re-promoted scent in the Ballet Core collection and I picked up all of the fragrance mists. I think the packaging is just okay. I like the soft colors, which do feel in line with a the ballet theme, but I don't really care for the faux pearl designs. I'm also disappointed to find that Bath & Body Works didn't release any body lotions with this collection, only body creams. Since I'm trying to not buy those anymore, that will limit the amount of this collection that I purchase, regardless of how much I like the scents. The collection includes Ballet Nights, described as a graceful balance of sweet and sophisticated. Pink Suede, described as sweet and smooth as a super chic power suit. And Satin Slippers, described as a dance of elegant, exquisite florals. And now let's get on to the reviews. The first scent in the collection is Ballet Nights, which is a new scent and comes in the silver bottle. And this has notes of wild plums, Glowing Amber, and Tonka Cream. And this opens with a dark plum that feels both syrupy and juicy, along with a strong, warm amber that gives it a perfumey feel and a bit of sweetness. And it also feels like the amber has a woody and almost smoky sort of quality. The scent starts off pretty strong, and for a little while I thought it was just okay. But as it started to dry, the amber took on a hint of a powdery feel and the Tonka cream added a nice creamy vanillic sweetness that I really liked. To me, this is primarily a warm, woody amber scent that has some fruitiness from the plum and added sweetness from the Tonka cream. The scent continues to sweeten and just get better the longer I wore it. I tend to like plum scents, and while that's not the strongest note in here, I do enjoy this one as well. The amber is really nice, subtly powdery, and it reminds me of one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents, which I'll get into shortly in the comparisons. And for comps, first I have Bath & Body Works Sweet Whiskey, and this is the 2023 version, and it has notes of golden amber, vanilla-infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. And this opens with the sweet berries and the boozy whiskey. It's warm and ambery, and it has a toasted, smoky quality to it. The vanilla adds some sweetness, but it's not super sweet overall and it's really just a smoky, boozy scent that feels dark and moody, but has a woody sweetness and hints of fruit. These share a similar scent profile with the woody amber, fruitiness, and vanillic sweetness, but Sweet Whiskey is a bit sharper and more woody feeling, while Ballet Nights is sweeter and more fruity, as well as more perfumey overall. Next is Bath & Body Works Blush Cardigan, with notes of sweet raspberries, sugar-dipped violet, and warm amber. And this is a beautiful powdery violet scent with sweet candied raspberry and warm amber. It's one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents of all time, and I feel like it shares a similar amber to that in Ballet Nights. These both have fruit combined with the amber, as well as a bit of powderiness, but Blush Cardigan is sweeter with a noticeable fruity candy feel. And sadly, I have to say that I love it so much more than Ballet Nights. I'm not sure if Bath & Body Works was just trying to tweak Blush Cardigan a bit, but I wish they had just re-released it instead. I do like Ballet Nights, but it has more of the smoky woodiness and just can't come close to topping Blush Cardigan for me. Then I have Bath & Body Works Wicked Vanilla Woods from last year's Halloween collection, which has notes of magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. And this is a really heavy, woody vanilla scent and it has some sweetness, but it's not sugary sweet. 
It has a deep, warm, ambery quality, as well as a kick of spiciness from the pink pepper, and dries down to a spicy, ambery, woody vanilla. These are both sweet, woody, ambery scents, but Wicked Vanilla Woods is spicier and has sort of a unisex quality to me, maybe because it's so woody, and I find Ballet Nights to be softer and more wearable. The next scent in the collection is Pink Suede, which is a re-promoted scent and comes in the pink bottle. And this has notes of blush berries, velvet peonies, and soft cotton. And this opens with berries that have a slightly juicy and almost sugary sweetness. There's also a soft floral note that feels very, very subtle and is quickly overtaken by the cotton note, which feels like clean, fresh linen and has a bit of sharpness to it, as well as a musky quality. The sweetness subsides some as it dries, and it's still fruity and sweet, but not quite as sugary as in the opening. To me, this is a sweet berry scent with a musky, fresh linen sort of feeling, and just a light hint of floral. Clean, cottony scents aren't usually my favorite, and when I first tried this, I originally thought it was just okay, but after a little while, I really started to enjoy it. It just has a very clean, soft feeling with a nice amount of berry sweetness. And for comps, first I have the original version of Pink Suede from last year, which has the same notes of blush berries, velvet peonies, and soft cotton. These smell pretty similar to me, with the same fruity sweetness and musky, fresh linen feel. If anything, the new version feels more musky and cottony, while the older version feels a bit sweeter and fruitier. But it may just be that this bottle has been sitting for a year. The original version also feels a bit stronger and I prefer the packaging on it as well. If you don't have the old version, I do think the new version will give you the same scent experience. Then I have Bath & Body Works Sun Blooms and Suede with notes of white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. And this is a fresh, slightly tart raspberry scent with a light floral note. It has a soft, creamy sweetness with a subtle vanilla quality. These are both soft florals with sweet berries but Sun Blooms and Suede is more floral and fruity, while Pink Suede is softer and muskier. And the last scent is Satin Slippers, which is a new scent and comes in the taupey gray bottle. And this has notes of white rose, dreamy jasmine, and airy musk. And this opens with a strong, perfumey floral. There's a fresh rose that doesn't feel green or sharp, along with a fragrant jasmine that's a bit stronger than the rose. There is some sweetness, but it is a floral sweetness, so it's not super sweet or sugary. And the musk brings in a sort of clean, airy feeling and lightens the florals. To me, this is a musky floral with a nice mix of jasmine and rose and a soft sweetness. I think it's pleasant, and it could be a good choice if you want a floral scent that isn't too heavy, because it really does have an airy quality to it. And for comps, first I have Bath & Body Works Rose, which is now discontinued and has notes of airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. And this is a strong floral that, as the name implies, is heavily rose. The jasmine is a bit softer, and the airy quality and musk soften the florals. I like this scent, but I don't wear it often because it is very floral, and it doesn't have a ton of sweetness. These scents basically share the same notes of rose, jasmine, and musk. And while I haven't watched any reviews yet, I've seen people comment that Satin Slippers is a repackage of rose. They are very similar, but I feel like there is a subtle difference. They're both airy florals, but I think rose has more prominent rose, while Satin Slippers has stronger jasmine. That changes the feel of the scent a bit. And while I like both of them, at times I think I might actually like Satin Slippers a bit more. I do really like the subtle creaminess in Rose, though. And if you missed out on it, Satin Slippers is a good substitute. Then I have Bath & Body Works Pure Wonder, with notes of Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. And this is the current version they released this holiday season. And it's a subtly sweet white floral with amber and a fruity touch. The jasmine is very fragrant and a bit sweet. And the Ice Rosé note doesn't really feel that alcoholic to me, it's more like they added a lightly bubbly fruity syrup. The amber is sweet and has a lightly powdery quality, but the jasmine is most prominent. I don't think these are that similar, 
but I wanted to share a comparison with another jasmine scent. They're both floral with prominent jasmine, but Pure Wonder is sweeter and it does have rosé and not rose, while Satin Slippers is more musky and I would say more floral overall. Overall, I think this collection is nice and I do like all of the scents, but I can't say that anything really wowed me. I am glad that they brought back Pink Suede, but I feel like these aren't really fitting in seasonally, except for maybe ballet nights. If I had to rank these, Satin Slippers would be my least favorite. It's a nice mix of jasmine and rose, but it's more floral than I typically reach for, so while I'm glad to have it, I don't see myself wearing it too often. I'm a little torn between the other two, and I think I'd have to say that I like them about the same. Ballet Nights is a sweet, warm, woody amber with plum and creamy tonka and I love how I get hints of blush cardigan in it. And I lean towards putting pink suede on top because I'm more familiar with it, and I know that I enjoy wearing it. It's clean and fresh, and it has a nice amount of sweet berries in addition to the musk and cotton. As far as strength, I thought that Ballet Nights seemed decently strong, with pink suede and satin slippers being a bit softer. None seemed particularly weak, but I unfortunately didn't have time to do a full wear test since I'm not feeling well, so I can't really speak to the longevity. So that's it for my review of the Ballet Core Collection from Bath & Body Works. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give any of them a try. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.